Hey y'all, this is your K-pop auntie Carly, and this is Super Junior. Um, they're not on the charts, and they have not really hit the point on my uh, request list from my viewers where I would usually um, react to them, but one of the comments uh, noted that, hey, yeah, these guys are just now coming back. This is a new song. So I want to try to stay on top of some new songs as long as you guys are recommending them to me. So if uh, we have some active comebacks, we'll... It depends on my schedule <laughs> and how much I'll be able to do reactions. But since Super Junior is on my radar, I wanted to go ahead and react to them. Um, I had seen this song pop up in my YouTube algorithm as a recommendation and I didn't click on it. But when the individual, oh, I didn't write down the name, shoot, uh, told me I was going to give a shout out, a thank you, but sorry, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> um... This one is, yeah, I wanted to do this one, shall we? I know that Super Junior is a um, older group. They're not, a, they're not newbies. That's about all that I know about Super Junior. So it'll be interesting to see what a uh, quote unquote older group is doing with uh, modern music. I do. I'm sure y'all will do all sorts of comments educating me about how they were some of the pioneers of X Y Z. So educate me by all means. If you're new to the channel, I always watch these twice. Uh, first, without the captions on, just so that I can absorb everything going on on the screen with the music video, listen to the guys and their voices. Let me turn that off. There we go. Um, listen to the guys, the voices, kind of get a feel for everything, and I can't do all of that really well while also trying to absorb what's going on with the lyrics. So I do that the second time around. Mango, no idea what the song is going to be about. <laughs> um, I'm guessing it's not all about a mango fruit, even though you never know. Jin of BTS wrote a song about tuna, so, and it was awesome. Um... <clears throat> Let's let's figure out what this is about. Little kick choreo. He looks familiar. Why does he look familiar? Is he like an MC or something somewhere? Let me know. It's a good beat. It's a loud suit. Good voice. I pick it up on kind of like uh, new school disco vibes. Um, I wouldn't know how else to uh, kind of put that. Like, definitely not old school disco, but new school disco. Not EDM, obviously, but let me know if that's kind of how their discography is. If it has like a really, if it has a commonality to it, or if they're just all over the place. <laughs> Okay, sweet just like a mango, got it. Some good harmonies in there. Yeah. I 
I like it. Slick moves. Like it. I'm gonna guess he's the main vocalist of the group. Like, I, I think every time the vocals have really hit me, it's, uh, it's this guy here who is singing. I, let me know if he's the main vocalist. What's this guy up high? <laughs> I can tell that um, they're probably a little uh, quirky in their earlier days. I'm sure they still are, but uh, that in particular lets me know that they don't take themselves too seriously. Fantastic. Um, all right, I'm going to bring you back. <clears throat> and uh, <coughs> I should have... I, 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 I usually say I should have Googled them beforehand, and I never wind up actually doing so. I can't say never. I have occasionally remembered to Google beforehand. Uh, but you can tell in multiple factors that these guys are a established older group. Um, for one, they, they all look older. Usually when I'm reacting to some of these newer groups, I'm like, oh man, they look so young. <laughs> they look so young. These guys look like grown men. <laughs> so that is definitely one. Uh, the choreo is the, the choreo is good and yet it is also not like over the top you know there's not a bunch of like really extremely energetic stuff going on but it is sharp it's in in sync and really cool and uh honestly number three is the portly gentleman there i that is i think the first time i have seen a k-pop idol who doesn't kind of conform to the this like strict body type um, which is kind of cool, and then, which does let me, does kind of get me on to thinking, let me know if he was kind of always a bigger guy from debut, or if he put on the weight, because it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of, like, these guys are established, and maybe he just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> it's like, you, when you get older, you kind of go that way. It's like, I just don't care anymore, man. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't care that the fans want the six packs being shown and everything. It's like, dude, who cares? <laughs> so that's that's actually pretty awesome that there's. So like I said, I think that's the first time I've seen a, a guy who doesn't conform to like these strict beauty standards that K-pop idols are held to. So good on you, buddy. Um, get it back into the uh, lyrics the second time through. Um, I sweet like sweet like a mango is basically the english that i heard in there so i'm going to guess this is going to be some sort of relationship song the you know things are the thing the relationship or the other person in the relationship is sweet like a mango just a guess but that's that's my best one i'm gonna turn it down a little bit so i can get into the uh, lyrics and we'll see i'm not entirely sure based on that um perspective of what the lyrics might be about if they're going to be deep lyrics or not which again i always say just because lyrics aren't deep doesn't mean it's not a good song <laughs> Again, I loved a, a song about super tuna, so don't have to be deep lyrics. <laughs> like the little, I like the little heel click together. That's nice. Sunburns hotter, whole world heating up. Head spins, feet unsteady. 
Burned before. Your heart is sensitive. All right. So you've been burned before in a relationship. The protagonist of the song has. And so the heart is sensitive. But I get the feeling by the previous lines that starting to feel it again. Starting to feel that lightheadedness and everything of getting into a uh, relationship. Almost forgot how to exhale. The air is already hot. Yeah, you just let it burn. In a scorching desert, this one shadow. No illusion. It's real to you now. Okay. In, in a desert, one shadow, and you realize that it's not an oasis. Basically, no illusion. I am your oasis. Come, enter your heaven. Uh, sweet just like a mango. It feels so nice. Instantly melts on your lips. Sweet just like a mango. I want you to want me. We fly halfway around the world. Still, this stifling greenhouse. All right, so distance doesn't matter. Still feel it. The cool night feels so far and comes so slow. It's hot. <laughs> Streets won't cool so easily. Sweet shade over this endless road. No mirage, it's real to you now. <laughs> a shoulder to lean on, a touch that will cool you down. It's all ready for you. I can give it to you. Look around you. There's no place more perfect than here. Ooh, I missed that harmony before. I liked that. The ha huh? all together. Nice. Let me fill you up. Whatever you drink only creates new thirst. Mad parched. Shimmering waves break onto the beach. No trick. It looks real in your eyes. That oasis you've been searching, run this way. Don't think twice, jump in. Yeah, nice. Nice. It got a basic feel for Super Junior off of this one. We have we have good vocals, we have good harmonies. I'm getting the sense from how uh, some of the guys are singing that like from their <laughs> didn't notice he went all the way down. Nice. I paused it too early apparently. <laughs> He died. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I get the feeling from some of the guys how how they're singing that there's a rap line uh, in here as well that uh, are probably pretty good rappers. I'm just going to go ahead and guess that judging from just the voices that I heard there. Um, musical arrangement, pretty good. It's a good beat. I like a group that harmonizes well, and they showed little hints of that, so, you know, color me interested. I'm interested in Super Junior, and um, I'm sure that they have a rather uh, broad discography. So, if you want me to react to more Super Junior, let me know in the comments. Let me know what songs uh, they have going on that I should uh, listen to, because I am entirely unfamiliar. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm entirely unfamiliar except for just um, having heard of them before as a not new group. Would I playlist it? I don't know. I don't know. I would have to say this might be in the 75% range of me being there. Um, so they would probably grow on me. Like if, if I had come across a group that I'm like eh, three quarters of the way there and really liking it, then it is definitely a group worth checking out for me because they usually, the more I get to know a group, usually the more I come to like them just get used to their sound, get used to, and honestly, once you get to know the guys in the group, you tend to just like their stuff more. <laughs> it's just how it goes. I'm sure anybody who stands any group completely understands that. <laughs> all right, y'all, I am gonna go uh, get about my day again. You all have yourselves a wonderful day.